guys welcome to another episode today I'm gonna to show you how to catch Asian crabs uh, basically they like muddy areas rocky uh, a lot of seaweed areas uh, the key is it's going at low tide let's go get them go towards the water a lot of areas uh, all you need is like some gloves so they could bite you and also a bucket is where you can put them I'm gonna get a little closer to the uh, water I'm gonna flip this one over here there, there's one right here. See guys, that's what I that's what we want right here. There's one. Here. Look at that, we already got six. You gotta put in the work to catch these guys. They don't sell these at the bait shop. Let's get ready. Woo! This is perfect bait for tog. The best bait you could get is probably Asian crabs. Ooh, look at this one. Big. Look at this one, guys. Huge. Perfect. Wow. I'm here at the jetties. Um, I'm looking for, you know, whatever bites, really. I'm going to be using Asian crabs. Hopefully, we catch a nice fish. Maybe a nice sheep's head or a trigger fish. That's what I'm really looking for. Let's see what we could get. Let's get it. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to be using my custom Night Ranger rod from Jigging World. Paired up with my Saltis Back Bay 3000. Really great uh, setup here. Ultra light, strong. My rod is rated for 2 to 6 ounces. A little tip. When you're putting your line through the guides, I have it folded like this. If it does slip out of your hands, it'll just get caught, you know, you won't go all the way down. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you how I use, uh, make my rig for the triggers and togfish is basically almost the same thing. It's a dropper loop rig, 30 pound liter. So take the tag end and make a loop. Like that, go twice. This is for the sinker and go about 20 inches up cross your fingers like this three times one two three take the outside ones pick it up cross it three times and grab the middle one and out the middle okay and there you go Okay. But from here, since you're fishing from the jetty, instead of like 12 to 20 inches, I'm gonna do at least like 30 inches of leader line. Okay. And then I'm gonna cut it off. I'm gonna connect my bass roll to it. I always use Spro bear swivels. Very strong, small too. So just do a regular polymenar uni knot here. All right, okay. There you go. So I'm gonna be putting, uh, I always use a two ounce sinker here and I'm gonna be attaching a hook what kind of hook you should use i think we should use like a circle hook or you could use even a small bay holder hook like this all right so if it doesn't fit here if the line is too too thick what i do i'll take this line the dropper loop and i'll cut the top one all right not the bottom one just like that and it's long right i'll just connect the like a knot here ok 
Okay. And there you go, guys. This is what it should look like. Dropper loop. And I'm gonna connect this to this my main line. I'm using a 20 pound braid. It's the least you should use out here. So it could at least resist the rocks. Okay guys, I think we're almost ready to fish. And then I'm gonna be connecting my pull-on sinker. Okay, two arms. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna just put them right here. Just like that. Make sure you show the hook. And let's see what we could get. Asian crabs, great for tog. All right guys, fish number one. Oh, another good fish. Another good one. Let's get it. Another one. Whew. Little one, nice though. Look at this waves. Whoa, the big ass waves. <laughs> that felt good. <laughs> Hopefully we could get a nice sheep's head, but I'm not sure what's down here until you fish it, so... Got a tog, another one. They're all around the same size, they're about like 10 inches. Barely hooked, look at that. <laughs> Asian crabs is the best. Don't get tangled up in the rocks because you're gonna lose your sensitivity to your rod. Uh, you're not you're not gonna be able to detect the fish the bites so Ooh, some big bites oh man this is a big fish
Nice fish. So guys, that's how you catch Asian crabs and how you use them. It's a really great bait to catch sheep's head, tog, all types of fish that love like crustaceans. Catch your own bait and use it. And this is a great way to save money also. Thanks for watching. Let's get it.